Hi everyone, it's Jean-Francois Cédé and I'm here at Little Magazine and I'm teaching them the art of contouring and highlighting. So Catherine already has a luminous foundation on her skin right now and I'm just going to apply some Skin Perfector. It is sort of a cream finish and it's going to start our glow if I could say. So I'm applying it right above the brows, right on the cheekbones, a little bit of the nose, and on her cupid's bow. So right now I'm still working with cream products. So I'm going to take Soleil Tan de Chanel, which is a creamy bronzer. And I'm just going to apply that on the edge of Catherine's face. And I like doing bronzer before the actual contour because it's going to be more forgiving. And you're just going to warm up the face and we'll be able to see exactly where we need the contour. So we're going to start off um, doing the highlight and I'm just taking a little bit of concealer, applying it right underneath the eyes, going in with my beauty blender and just making sure it's blended. I'm using, I would say, a shade lighter than Catherine's face, just so that it's very, very illuminating, if I could say so. And then right in the middle of the, the forehead, a little bit on the bridge of the nose. Make sure to blend. So right now we're all done with the creamy texture. So I'm going in with a little bit of powder. I'm going in with a pressed powder that has a slightly yellow tint to it because Catherine has an olive undertone to her skin. And this was, will just set everything, making sure that it stays put and it doesn't crease. We're now ready for the contour, so I'm going to take two colors from my contour palette from Anastasia. And I'm going to start right underneath the cheekbones. And while I'm applying, I'm going upwards. We don't want to bring the contour downwards. And I'm going right into our hairline. And what I love about this contour palette is that most of the shades in it have a gray undertone, which are going to mimic perfectly the shadows on our face that are naturally created with sun rays or the lighting. Now the next part is very tricky. You do not have to do this every day, but I'm just going to slightly contour the nose. It's just going to intensify her natural bone structure. Now the very last step for contouring and highlighting, I'm going to apply one of my favorite highlighters. I basically like every highlighter from Becca. I'm going to take Opal and apply that onto the high planes of the face. Basically where we've applied our very first product, which was the same product, same shade, but in a cream form. You can even take those highlighters and just create a little bit of light on the inside of the eye, so right in the tear duct area. And to left, right underneath the brows. Now the very last step to help the makeup really bond into the skin is I'm going to apply Fix Plus and it's just going to make the makeup melt right into the skin and appears like it's your true beautiful skin.